Hello YouTube, welcome back to OTH. Today we're looking at uh, a project we're working at on the homestead today. Um, getting the stove that was in this house when we bought it uh, back into decent shape. Um, it's still in good working condition, but um, aesthetically pleasing it is not. <laughs> the, uh, it had been leaking from up there and I, I, I tar all over my hands. I just got done being up on the roof and the um, the jack on the roof, the the joints on it and the places where uh, it meets against the shingles had uh, the um, asphalt you know, that you seal it with, it had cracked and dry rotted and so uh, I had to go up there and you know use a whole tube of the you know, blackjack um, roof sealant, the flexible stuff, you know, so it doesn't uh, crack and break as easy. And it seems to have fairly good warranty and, and seems to work well, uh, good as well. And so what we're working on the inside here now is that for the past uh, day or so, I've been working on, uh, you know, with a, a corded drill and a, a wire wheel. And I've been working on uh, getting, you can see on top of here, it's still fairly hot because we had a fire last night but you can see that's still kind of pitted and the heat coming off there is kind of throwing off the uh, the autofocus sensor on there as well but um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to uh, seal that up and uh, when I'm done it'll still be a little pitted like that but it'll look nice and it'll have a decent finish to it so what I'm going to do is um, actually I'd started another video on this and I don't think I've ever uploaded it but uh, this right here um, let me set this down and we can get a, a better look at it um, this product here is made by uh, Skyco and it's called Ospho and it's Osphoric Acid. So right there, Osphoric Acid. And uh, this is the same thing as Nav Jelly or Navel Jelly. And basically what you're doing is you, you paint that product on a rusted surface like that after you know, you've thoroughly taken a wire wheel to it many, many, many times and gotten off you know absolutely as much of the um, caked on and um, you know the, the surface rust that will come off once you've actually had the opportunity to get as much of that off as possible and um, it, it, uh, it changes the surface of this to a paintable surface and it'll blacken it and it actually changes the top layer of rust that's in here to a different chemical composition and it hardens it and it makes it a good paintable surface and then uh, you just use uh, what we call around here barbecue paint don't know what they call it where you live but you know uh, high temp barbecue paint and we're gonna hit it with that and when we're done it should look you know pretty almost brand new um, when we're done but uh, you can see that this thing leaked for a while when no one was really living here and so we're going to touch up you know a lot of this stuff in here and make it look nice again and so when we're done it's something that we can be proud of and uh, you know I'll back up a little bit I got junk everywhere because we're working on it but hang on a second here you can see you know that at one point in time this was a, a beautiful corner in the house you know with the wall going up there and everything and so that's what we're after is to return it to its former glory so to speak and so um, I might roll in some footage here of putting on the uh, the acid on there and uh, painting it and then I'll definitely show you the finished uh, product when we're done but that's what we're working on today on the homestead and uh, as far as doing the um, nav jelly or asphoric acid um, I have used this in several other projects as well as um, no other people that are in um, trades that, that use that product as well and it works very well so uh, if you have any hesitations about using it uh, you probably shouldn't it's a good product.
Okay, so here we are after we applied the uh, nav jelly or asphoric acid and um, you can see, I'm trying not to block the light, but you can see in here where parts of it are starting to dry and it turns that grayish color that is normal, that's the way it's supposed to happen. And then this heavily pitted area up on top here, you can see where it's already starting to turn that blackish color and that's the um, the chemical reaction taking place and it's actually turning that um, the rust in there into uh, a different chemical composition it hardens it and so then it, it can be painted and preserved and so that's what we're uh, doing today and we're going to get it all touched up here and once it's uh, good and dry we'll then paint it and uh, with some of the high temp paint and then we'll let you take a look at that and this down here is very common too you see in the the drop tray here where it turns this white powdery coating like that that's also uh, very normal if you have a lot of um, top rust it'll do that and so I'll hit that with the wire wheel again just to get uh, a bunch of that off and then uh, make sure it, um, wipe it down with a damp cloth, make sure it dries good and we'll paint that up too. And we're not going to paint the whole thing. Okay YouTube, so it's the next day and uh, we're working on the, the stove project again and as you can see we've got uh, butcher paper up as you know a backsplash, drop cloth, whatever you want to call it for when we're painting so we don't get uh, any of the paint on our uh, nice uh, brick behind there and um, just showing you the contrast here uh, this has one coat of paint on it that we just put on and then this is what it looks like after you put the acid on there and uh, we just use a damp cloth and wipe that down good made sure that there was no loose um, uh, that white dust or cake cake uh, looking thing on there and uh, if you use, uh, if it's really, really thick, you'll probably want to take a wire wheel and hit that again just to get all that off. However, if it's just surface like this, and you know, it's, it's hard and it's part of the surface, you know, it's not easily coming off and there's probably nothing to worry about, just paint right over the top of it. Or at least in my experiences, uh, you know, your mileage may vary, but that's what I've experienced thus far and so um, we used it on the the flue pipe here because water was coming down uh, as well as here so we're going to paint uh, all of this up including the top of this and we painted the catch tray there too um, we put the acid on that and then we hit we did have to sand the catch tray here down again because there's it was really thick in there and so uh, yeah there we are on our progress and we'll show you what it's like when we're done Alright guys, so here we are on our finished um, project on the stove and as you can see everything looks uh, nice and new again and I'll give you a close up of the top here and as you can see, uh, it, like I said before, it does have a little bit of pitting still but uh, you know, as far as the rest of it goes, it looks uh, pretty nice, pretty new and uh, even the flue pipe right now has a nice black finish to it and it'll it'll start to gray a little bit like that just from normal wear and tear and use but the most important thing was stopping the rust and we did, did that by putting the uh, asphoric acid on there and I'm probably saying that name wrong and I'm sure someone uh, is going to correct me on that but <laughs> uh, there we are and uh, I just showed it to the wife and she gave it the thumbs up so um, consider this project done thanks for watching today guys if you have any questions uh, please feel free to post them to below below I'll do my best to answer them for you <coughs> um, thank you for uh, thumbs up in the video and uh, if, if you like videos like this please be sure to subscribe so that uh, you'll get notified when we produce new videos here at OTH thanks for watching today guys Shalom